It just happens. <clears throat> you can go to any Walmart and look at people there and think like, oh man, these people are just idiots. That's an Illuminati viewpoint, you know what I mean? We should curb their population or whatever. But at the same time, here's where I debate. Because I'm, I'm just being a dick right now. Um, say your life sucks. You have no money. But the TV does make you happy. Why wouldn't you go to the TV? It's okay. But it's really good. You did it through horror movies. I guess there's... I've done it through the same thing. Yeah, horror movies, through Hellraiser, through special There's effects. nothing wrong with an escapism like that. But I guess if you devote 100% of your life to that, that's... But at one point, did you not do that? And I did sure. it too. I, I was, did it too. I was a complete sheep too. We're all the same. I We've guess, all done it. Well, I'd, I'd say all the same, but I think I was a sheep until you know a certain point where I became kind of clued into certain other ideals or whatever. So I could have gone my life, carried out my life. This okay, so the bait. So then now the the debate with that comes to what are you going to do about it? How are you going to be an activist towards it? If you know things and see things, what? How are you going to change? Them? Yes, that's like trying to call Magic One Hundred Five Point Seven or <laughs> writing the Morning Journal or I think I've had two letters published in the journal. I'm trying to like, I guess, express your viewpoints on things. You know, it's a very dangerous situation when you can't express your uh, political viewpoints or whatever. And I've already experienced like. My viewpoints, I guess, would be on the extreme. Whenever you talk to people, expressing my viewpoints, where it's like you do get that crazy stare, or whatever, and you're, just, you're on the fringe or whatever. And it's very frustrating when you think like that. It's like I think I've done my homework and my research on main, mainline history and alternative history and you know stuff like the, the you know the conspiracy nature or whatever, but. I can see how the manipulation occurs because the majority of people, 90% of them, don't think about this stuff in their daily lives. You know, they don't go to rants or info wars or, you know what I mean? It's just... It's okay, so here's a new question. Why does that matter to you if they go to those sites or not? Because if they don't have an alternative viewpoint, then they're going to be following the agenda, which... I would believe would be a dumbing down a bad path. <laughs> really, you're not... Like okay, like so so or, here's a new question. Stop. Um, here's a new question. Why does that matter to you in your life? What other people do? Because if the majority of the masses go on that path, that it will, will affect my life and your life and in terms of allowing more and more freedoms to be taken away, etc., etc., if they don't stand up for themselves. You know what I'm I don't give a shit what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing mind games right now. That's the scary thing. I, mean, I, I don't see the happening. 